for your tuning in. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Saber Casey. I am currently 37 weeks pregnant with baby number two. Like I said, we are having a girl, and I also have a two-year-old toddler who is named Lucy. Okay, let's get to it. So Lucy's room is actually Liam's old room. It's the smallest room in the house, and it's kind of tucked away. There's only just a small window, so it's really kind of the perfect place for a nursery. And then let's just kind of start with the floor here. We've got this gray rug, and it's slightly shaggy, but it's also kind of got that soft memory foam in it as well. And this we got off of Amazon, and it was not very expensive. I think it was like $20 or $25. Let me come over to her crib. So this crib we actually got from Walmart. And um, I, again, I will link that below. I will link anything below that I can, although pretty much everything I got from Amazon. Um, I really love the wood on this crib because I just, I love the texture. So it's not just like plain white or plain gray. It's kind of both. See the little ruffle skirt on the crib. Bedding set, which is Amazon. Oh, how perfect is this meme? Oh my goodness, it is just perfection. If you keep up with my bump dates, this was the item that I had been waiting on that I got from the UK. This was my one splurge item for her nursery because it was not cheap, but oh, it came out so perfect. Over here in the corner, we have got her monitor. It looks right over her crib. We've got this little diaper stacker from Amazon. I have got it full of newborn diapers for now. Her changing table. We've got tons of storage under there. And then of course we've got swans. This is the Aiden and Anias um, brand. It's that soft muslin. I really wanted to get a crib like we had with Liam's where it's a combo crib slash um, changing table, but I couldn't find one that one, I liked the way it looked, and two, that wasn't ridiculously expensive. So it was a lot cheaper just to buy them separately. And I know that I'm probably in the minority, but I really like my changing table facing this way. I feel like it's a lot easier to change them. So back here, we have got her hamper. Let's see if I can pull this out. Because I don't know where I want it yet, so it's just kind of there just to stay out of the way. But it's got a little swan on it. And it's... um. A soft so you can kind of open that you can throw the stuff in there and then next to the table we've got this old nightstand table we've had this table forever and I just thought it would look good in here we've got water wipes we'll use those initially and then um, once she kind of gets over you know the whole newborn stage we do cloth diapers and cloth wipes um, almost exclusively in the beginning we probably won't do it too exclusively just while we're kind of getting in the transition because Liam is still in diapers as well. So I've got these cloth wipes. They're very, very soft. And then I've got my cloth wipe solution, which is basically just water, teeny bit of soap, and essential oil. And then trash bags. Uh, these are those extra cubes that you see all over the nursery. These are just the extra ones. Down here, I've got a ton of cubes. It goes all the way back. It goes three deep, top and bottom. I don't love this because I feel like I've got wasted space here and I can't decide what to do with it. Drop me a comment and let me know what your ideas are because I don't know. But yeah, down here we've got extra wipes, um, size one diapers, I've got a handful of those, um, some blankets, just kind of miscellaneous stuff that I don't really need like right now, but I want to have access to. And I'm so sorry because I feel like I am just breathing so loud. <laughs> Very pregnant mama over here. Okay, so here I've got her bows. These are some of them. And this little organizer clip thing I got on Amazon. It was like five bucks. All of these bows are her nicest bows. These obviously were custom. I have a group on Facebook I will link below. She makes the best bows and they're so affordable. So most of these are those bows. These are just the, the nicest ones. Her other bows and stuff are in her closet. And then down here, of course, we've got trash can. And then this is the pail that I use for cloth diapers. This is just a cheap hamper from Target and then stick a wet bag in there. Down here, we've got her light switch covers. And these I painted. We had a box 
of just plain white covers that we bought when we moved in the house because we had to replace a bunch and it was super cheap. And I already had some crafting paint and stuff, so I just kind of put some paint on there, some pink paint, just to kind of make it stand out a little bit more. So on the back of her door, I have one of these shoe organizers, and I have these on pretty much the back of every single door in our house. And these are all of her cloth diapers. They're various sizes. I've got some newborns, some bigger ones. A lot of these were Liam's. Over here, we have got her dresser. And this dresser we got from Walmart as well. And then we took all the knobs off and replaced them with these little pink jeweled ones. These were super cheap. I think the whole set was like $6 or something. And it just makes it look a little bit more customized. Up here on her dresser, we've got a lamp. Got that from Amazon. This little swan I got from my uh, baby shower. And the swan is actually Mud Pie. That's the brand. She got it from a boutique a baby boutique where she lives but mud pie and it was sold in several places she's also got this light switch cover which i've had because i'm a huge lucy fan if you um haven't made the assumption she is named after lucille ball <laughs> so i've had this light switch cover forever so we just put that in here um this was a gift from my sister-in-law at our baby shower and that is just <laughs> so perfect i can't decide if i want to take it out of the package or not because it seems like a collectible, so I don't know. Let me know in the comments what y'all would do with it. Down here is the dome no noise machine. This is the exact same one that Liam has. It's awesome. And we will probably move this into our bedroom. It, obviously, we haven't um, plugged it in or anything, but we'll probably move this into our room just because she's going to be sleeping with us in our room for several months. So there's no need to have it in here. Up here we have a painting that Liam did for his baby sister. I don't know if you can really tell, you have to really kind of look, but there's outlines and it's love, L-O-V-E, you can kind of see it and then he painted all over that and that's just a little canvas we did. So again, another over the shoe organizer. This has got just random like car seat covers, inserts, extra diapers. Because like I said, we won't be exclusively doing cloth in the beginning, but we will after we get settled. Up here we've got a floating shelf, and it says, those bling and sparkly things, that's what little girls are made of. That um, little painting art thing we got from Hobby Lobby, and it was half off whenever we got that. And then the floating shelves, we just had those. but. I'm going to take a guess here and think that I got that off of Amazon a couple of years ago. So in her closet, we have, surprise, another over the door. <laughs> Y'all, seriously, I have these on every door in our house. We don't have a gigantic house, so i got to kind of be creative. This has got, again, just random stuff. She's got a little summer hat. She's got some winter booties. Um, Clothespins, a lot of these little samples I've gotten from registry boxes, a handful of shoes. Up here at the top is um, like humidifier. We had that with Liam. That's my, um, the baby carrier. We haven't taken that out yet. More of these little um, storage bins. And these are like blankets and then pack and play blankets. Up there in the corner, I've got uh, formula samples that I've received. I am planning on exclusively breastfeeding, but these were free samples and it is always good to be prepared just in case we need it. So those are up there. And then under that in that little clear box are some bows and headbands that are gonna be a little bit too big for her little head starting out. And then that's the box to the camera. And if you've noticed, I've got these little, they're closet dividers and I just happen to have them and I put these on all of the handles so I kind of know what's in them. I'm sure there's lots of different ways you can label these, but I already had them, so that's why I use those. And then I can also wipe off that marker whenever I want to change it, or if I want to change it. So in her closet, she has got a ton of stuff. We've got some headbands down here. All of this here is all of her jewelry and um, necklaces, bracelets, I know it's ridiculous. I have these all by size. So we've got newborn, zero to three month. These are sleep sacks. 
these are just bigger clothes. And then down here is three month. And then those are extra hangers. So all I have unpacked is newborn, zero to three month and three month. Everything else for the most part is in our garage and bins. But I do have a couple of things that why I have six month plus is because those were like custom items like that I had made that I don't want like folded up in the garage. So that's why those are hanging up back there. Down here, we've got a cube organizer, Amazon. And this has got, um, she's got a little keepsake that I've kept like cards from the baby shower and stuff because I don't really know what I want to do with all that yet. Shoes. Yes, there's more shoes down here. I know, I know. And then um, this is all the stuff that I've got ready for her newborn pictures. We've got a ton. And this is her little bath. Obviously she won't need that yet. And I just realized I didn't show you all what's actually in the dresser. So top row, this is all newborn. Uh, onesies, socks, these are little headbands that are gonna be good for her little head starting out. So this is all newborn. This is all zero to three month stuff. And here, this is all of her um, sheets for the crib, sheets for the um, changing table. I'm sorry, I keep saying, um, I can't talk today. And then these are with the little under pads that um, kind of protect the mattress. <clears throat> and here we got bibs, burp cloths, hats, and then little mittens. We got a ton of those left over from Liam. We didn't even buy any this time around. And then, obviously, the ones with the flowers were gifted. Those weren't for Liam. <laughs> all these burp cloths, we didn't buy any new ones. These are all Liam's old burp cloths. Although I was tempted, but I'm like, you know what? I've bought enough stuff for her already. Uh, this is all three month down here. I'm not married to the way I've got stuff organized, but at least it's all together and it's put up. That was my main goal. Over here, we've got her curtains. I am obsessed with these. I think they are so pretty and they look darker than they actually are. They're they are light pink. They are the blackout curtains and they've got little silver stars on them. They are from Amazon. This rod up here we've had and I think we got this from Walmart and I think it was like 10 bucks. It's pretty cheap. Over here we have got another floating shelf. When I bought those shelves I think it was like a three pack. This print I actually, if you get a better view, there we go. I actually found the print on Etsy and I paid like $5 for it and then they email you the JPEG for it and then you print it yourself. So this is just like a thin cardboard type of material. And I had this printed at Walgreens. They were having like a 60% off their prints. So I think it was maybe like $11. It was pretty cheap. And I just thought that print was really pretty. This one over here is really special. Ben, my husband, he bought me this for our first date 15 years ago. <laughs> and it has not broken or anything. So, and it's a swan, so obviously it has to go in here. Down here we've got a lot of extra space. We have her bassinet there for now. This bassinet is actually gonna be used in the living room. But for now, when we first get home from the hospital, I am having a C-section. I know we're gonna be in the bedroom probably for a week or two. I'm not worried about it and it's really easy. You just pop it up and put the mattress in. So we're just leaving that in here for now just to kind of keep it out of the way. We will probably end up bringing um, the rocker that was in here before. You see there's a big mark on the wall where the rocker kept hitting it. Um, it's an old family rocker. It's been in our family, my family for a long time. It's in Liam's room right now, um, but we'll probably move it in here once he gets a little bit older and once she actually sleeps in here, because like I said, she'll be in our room for a while, so I'm not really worried about it. So over here, I've got this cube organizer and I'm just obsessed with it, I love it. Pink and gray, obviously, and then I have those same little um, organizers, or not organizers, but the dividers on all the handles. Here up top, I have this little print and it says, what if I fall? Oh, but my darling, what if you fly? And me and Ben just love that. We thought it was just perfect for in here. I did a similar thing that I did with the swan picture on the wall. I paid, I think, $3 for the JPEG of this. And I actually printed this on my printer here at home on just some photo paper. 
And then this um, frame is rose gold, and I bought that from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. So this whole little frame thing was less than five dollars. And this, this is mud pie also. And again, my sister got that from a boutique where she lives, but mud pie is everywhere. This right down here is the corsage that I wore to her baby shower a couple weeks ago. And we dried it out. We sprayed it with um, tons of hairspray, left it upside down. And so that's what it looks like now. And then this is just a little pink um, box. I've had it forever and I just thought that it would match in here. I'm seriously, I'm so sorry because I feel like I'm just huffing and puffing. <laughs> so down here we have got all these organizers. This one's empty. This one is full of pacifiers. And most of those pacifiers, y'all, I got for free. If y'all have not checked out any of my unboxing or free sample boxes videos, I will link that playlist below. But I got so much of this stuff for free. Toys down here. These are all um, Liam's old toys. I don't think we bought any new toys at all for Baby Girl. More toys. This little doll was a gift for my sister-in-law. Tons of toys in there. Down here. That is one of the downfalls of these is they kind of turn, but I already had them, so I wasn't going to buy new ones. This is miscellaneous. I've got uh, mostly like coupons and this is the changing pad that came with our diaper bag that I don't think I'm gonna use. So this is just kind of a catch-all box. And here we've got books. These are all like baby specific books and I think I've only bought one book, which is this one. ABC, what can she be? We had everybody at the shower sign this instead of um, doing cards. That way it's kind of a two for, we also do that at Liam's birthday parties. So yeah, those are all just baby specific books. Over here we have her dock tot Keeping it here just because I don't know how I want to use it yet, but I'm obsessed with this print. I think this was a limited edition print for the spring. If I'm understanding it right, I think that they change their prints like by the season. Anyway, we barely got this one because they were selling out. That was a baby shower gift. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel below. I will see y'all next time. Bye.